Welcome to Miss Dig 811's external training video for the Quality Control Department. Today, we'll explore the various resources available to you on our website, as well as discuss how to identify what a bad ticket looks like in our One Call Access Ticket Entry Platform. Let's get started. In the Quality Control Department, our primary mission is to train and support users of the One Call Access Ticket Entry Platform. We're here to assist users from Monday through Friday between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Users can reach out to us through email, phone, or request forms. The Quality Control Department provides ongoing support, education, and training as you place your tickets. Your tickets may be reviewed to ensure the information you provided is accurate and MISTIG 811 procedures are being followed. As part of our commitment to excellence, it's essential that every ticket placed in our system meets our criteria. We understand the importance of clarity, accuracy, and completeness in every ticket submission. On the MISS DIG 811 homepage, navigate to the Excavation Pros tab. A drop-down menu will appear. Here you can find the Excavator Training and Reference Material pages. The Excavator Training page contains a lot of valuable information like our One Call Access Ticket Entry Platform, how to become an external PLUS user, certification courses, toolbox talks, and more. The Reference Material page shows any announcements and updates to our systems, helpful ticket entry guides like GIS Info and County, Scope of Work Guidelines, Ticket Actions Quick Guide, and more. Let's dive a bit deeper into the Scope of Work Guidelines, specifically for Project 180-Day and Emergency Tickets. Project 180-Day and Emergency Tickets follow the same guidelines. Here's a quick breakdown. Urban zones have a minimum of 20,001 square feet with a maximum of 1,320 linear feet in any direction, one street per ticket, divided roads, traffic bound in each direction on a separate ticket, up to a 200-foot radius of intersections, up to 10 addresses per ticket within 1,320 linear feet, up to 5 buildings within 1,320 linear feet, Rural zones have a minimum of 50,001 square feet with a maximum of 2,640 linear feet in any direction, one street per ticket, divided roads, traffic bound in each direction on a separate ticket, up to a 200-foot radius of intersections, up to 10 addresses per ticket within 2,640 linear feet, up to 5 buildings within 2,000. 640 linear feet. Now let's put your skills to the test with an interactive challenge. We'll show you some tickets and your job is to identify why they are bad tickets. Notice that the polygon doesn't seem to fully cover the dig site based on the instructions. If your polygon isn't accurately covering the work location, you need to replace the ticket. Remember, your written instructions should only include areas within the drawn polygon or simply use C polygon if it's accurate. In this bad ticket example, the polygon is too large, covering areas that aren't part of the work location. This can lead to unnecessary notifications to facility owners and confusion because the polygon doesn't match the information in the street field. Make sure your polygon only covers the actual work area. Here's our third bad ticket example. What do you think might be the issue with this ticket? Look closely at the scope of work. If you spotted that the ticket includes more than one street, you're right. This violates the scope of work guidelines, which only allows one street per ticket in urban or rural areas. You'll need to cancel this ticket and create separate ones for each street.
This ticket has conflicting information. The polygon doesn't fully align with the work instructions. If the polygon doesn't match, you'll need to cancel and replace the ticket. For future tickets, ensure that your remarks and polygon are in sync or use C polygon if it's accurate. Here's ticket five. What stands out to you as being incorrect? Take a moment to evaluate it. If you notice the unclear polygon, you're right again. If the polygon doesn't cover the entire work location, it's essential to replace the ticket. Always ensure the polygon matches the work instructions or accurately depicts the location with C polygon in the remarks. Finally, let's examine ticket six. Can you find the issue with this one? The problem here is similar to what we've seen before. The polygon doesn't fully cover the work location based on the written instructions. If this happens, the ticket needs to be replaced to ensure accurate notifications to utility owners. Make sure your polygons are precise to avoid any misunderstandings. By following these guidelines and making use of the resources available on our website, you can ensure that your tickets are accurate, compliant, and efficient. As a reminder, the Quality Control Department is here to assist users from Monday through Friday between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Users can reach out to us through email, phone, or request forms. Thank you for your attention, and thank you for your commitment to quality. Together, we can ensure the success of every project.